not a joke, not a joke. You're the ones, you're the ones beyond me, and you know, you, you know Matt with this bit better than I do, beyond me, it's all about whether or not we're gonna grow the economy, whether we're gonna give working people a shot. And I told you, and you know, because you, a lot of you were there with me all the way back when I was a kid, and I'm only 42, but <laughs> when, when, I, <laughs> when I was a kid, back running for the Senate when I was 29 years old, labor elected me. And we were then a right to work state, and we, we changed it all. And here's what we're doing. You are, you've heard me say it a thousand times, I'm gonna say it again. The middle class built this country. You built the middle class. No, no, no. And by the way, I don't wanna hurt your reputations, but even Wall Street's acknowledging your power. No, I'm serious. Look at every projection about what we wanna do with the economy on the issues that we're talking about and what the other guy wants to do. They're supporting us, it's your agenda we're working on. And by the way, I've said from the beginning that when labor does well, everybody does better. Not, not, not a joke. That, that's not a talking point. That is a reality, you know that, Lee, that is a reality. It is an absolute reality. When we were going, making, I was, you know, I said I was gonna be the most pro-union president in American history, well, guess what? I am, and I'm staying there. No, I mean it. Because you represent the folks I grew up with. You represent where I come from. You represent where the vast majority of the American people. You know, I come from a household with a three bedroom. We weren't poor, but we weren't. <laughs> we didn't have anything left over at the end of the month. And, uh, but you know, three bedroom house, four kids, grandpa lived with us, someone lived with us full time. I look back now and wonder how my dad ha handled those thin walls. But at any rate, the point is that we, we're, we're, we're just, we just give people a fighting chance. And when I got elected, and when I was, a, and even when you guys are with me all going all the way back into the 70s when I was a kid, that what we talked about was, the I whole idea of this was to give everybody a shot. No guarantee, just a shot an even shot, and that's why I determined, and I, we've done it with your help and your leadership. We're gonna build this country from the bottom up and the middle out, not the top down. No, I mean it, not a joke, not a joke. I'm not, they're, they're wanting me not to take too much time with you all today, but in terms of talking, but here's the deal. The fact of the matter is, take a look at what all the major economists, including the Wall Street economists are saying. They looked at his proposal, what he's done, and what our proposal is moving forward. And overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, he got 16 Nobel laureates in econ economic law, and the, they won the Nobel Prize for economics, 16 of them. And what did they say? They say his proposals are gonna bankrupt the country. His proposals are gonna cause a recession. His proposals are gonna cause us big, uh, higher interest rates. And what you and I, and you've been helping me, you've been either leading on, or I've been following you, or you've been following me, what we propose is growing the country. Right. No, no, we're, we're, we're the fastest growing economy in the world. That's a fact. We're the strongest economy in the world. But here's what we gotta do. We gotta talk to our people. We gotta talk to our people. Food prices are still too high because of corporate greed. We're in a situation where we're at, rents are too high. We need more housing. I mean, a whole range of things we're gonna get done with your help in the second term, because that's what we gotta get done. So folks, I have real, I've never been more optimistic about America's chances, not because of me, but because of what we're doing together. I really mean it. We're a better position than any country in the world to own the remainder of the 21st century because of union labor. That's right. I'm serious. Thank you, Mr. President. We're gonna have a conversation. And the most diverse cabinet in history, I think that goes um, sometimes unnoticed. I promised that I was gonna have a cabinet that looked like America. And it does. More minorities.